गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज कस्तूरी दे टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फिजिक्स फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सेवन सिलेबस आईसीएसई सिलेबस क्लास सेवन ओके द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फिजिक्स फिजिकल क्वांटिटी एंड मेजरमेंट्स ओके नाउ फर्स्ट आई स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज मेजरमेंट मेजरमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉम्पेरिजन ऑफ द गिवन अनोन क्वांटिटी विद अ फिक्सड नोन क्वांटिटी ऑफ द सेम काइंड विच इज कॉल्ड द यूनिट द फिक्सड क्वांटिटी फिक्स नोन क्वांटिटी इज द यूनिट एंड कंपेरिंग द अनोन क्वांटिटी विद दिस यूनिट दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी इज मेजरमेंट ओके नाउ magnitude of the quantity is expressed as magnitude is equal to number of times of the unit is contained in the quantity into its unit for example 23.5 23.5 is times number of times the unit is contained in the quantity okay and the unit is kilogram so the the magnitude is 23.5 kilograms okay now length length is the distance between two points two points two given points if it is there then the distance between the two point is the length its si unit is meter okay and the symbol is small m then measured with it's measured with a meter ruler or a measuring tape then the mass mass is the quantity of matter contained in the body how much matter is there in the body that is the mass okay its si unit is kilogram and expressed in kg okay then it's measured with a beam balance or an electronic balance then we come to time time is the interval of occurrence of an event okay how many times uh, we say no the event has occurred the interval of occurrence is the event so si unit is second symbol is small s it's measured with a pendulum clock or a watch for short time intervals a stopwatch or a stop clock is used to measure the time then temperature it's the quanti quantity which measures the hotness or coldness of the body okay then its si unit is kelvin symbol is capital k centigrade or symbol is degree c fahrenheit symbol is degree f it's measured with a thermometer next we come to what is si unit i was still talking about si unit in every uh, the definitions all the definitions which i have discussed just now so what is si unit si unit is a standard international unit it's a, its full form is standard internationally okay that is unit which is accepted internationally okay that is called si unit now measurement of volume what is volume the space occupied by an object is its volume it may be solid the object may be solid liquid or gas okay for example stone inside the water how is stone inside the water measured first uh, we have uh, says like uh, we take a um, a glass filled with water we put some stone in it first we note the uh, glass filled with water how much water is there in the glass okay then we put a stone inside the water inside that glass with water and then we again uh, measure the level of water inside the glass the difference between the two the first reading and the second reading will be the volume of the stone now brick which is bigger than a matchbox okay brick is bigger than the matchbox that means the volume of the brick is bigger than the volume of the matchbox then school hall school hall is bigger than the classroom okay the volume of the school hall is bigger because its length breadth and height all will differ uh, than the classroom length breadth and height 
सो ऐसा यूनिट ऑफ वॉल्यूम इज क्यूबिक मीटर और एम क्यूब वन क्यूबिक मीटर दैट इज द बिगर यूनिट ऑफ वॉल्यूम ओके विल बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द क्यूब विद ईच साइड ऑफ वन मीटर लॉन्ग लाइक दिस वन मीटर वन मीटर वन लेंथ ब्रेथ एंड हाइट विल बी ऑल वन मीटर द स्मॉलर यूनिट्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम आर क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर और सी एम क्यूब वन क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ द क्यूब विद ईच साइड ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग नाउ वॉट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन मीटर क्यूब एंड सेंटीमीटर क्यूब वन मीटर क्यूब मीन्स वन मीटर इंटू वन मीटर इंटू वन मीटर ओके एज वन मीटर इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर सो वी कन्वर्ट वन मीटर इंटू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर वन मीटर इंटू वन हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर दैट इज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इंटू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इंटू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इट बिकम्स सो द टोटल विल बी टेन लैक्स सेंटीमीटर क्यूब और टेन टू द पास सिक्स सेंटीमीटर क्यूब दैट देर फोर वन मीटर क्यूब इज इक्वल टू टेन टू द पास सिक्स सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ओके द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लिक्विड इज जनरली एक्सप्रेस्ड इन लीटर्स ओके सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड इज एक्सप्रेस इन मीटर क्यूब और सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ओके एंड बट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द लिक्विड इज जनरली एक्सप्रेस इन लीटर्स और मिली लीटर्स एज अ स्मॉलर यूनिट और इट कैन ऑल्सो बी मेजर्ड इन सी सी और सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ऑल्सो लाइक uh expressed in uh, the symbol is capital l so 100 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liter or 1 liter is equal to 1000 cm cube therefore 1 liter is equal to 10 to the power 1 uh, cm cube is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 liters and 1 ml that is equal to 1 ml 10 to the power minus 3 liters is equal to 1 ml or milliliter okay now 1 ml is equal to 10 lakh cm cube that is 10 to the power 6 cm cube 1 meter cube 1 meter cube is equal to 10 lakh cm cube or 10 to the power 6 cm cube so 1 liter is equal to 1000 cm cube i told you earlier or 1000 ml so 1 ml is equal to 1 cm cube or 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube okay now sometimes the word capacity is used to express the volume of a vessel or container okay so uh, to express the volume of a container or vessel sometimes in questions and all those in some uh, definitions also we see that it's written as the capacity okay so sometimes cubic decimeter is used as a unit volume unit of volume cubic decimeter dm cube is also used for example uh, for uh, this is the expression how it is converted to liters it's what is the relation between decimeter cube and liters or centimeter cube i'll tell you one decimeter cube is equal to one decimeter into one decimeter into one decimeter then one decimeter is equal to 10 cm we have earlier studied in lower classes okay the 10 cm into 10 cm into 10 cm so that will be come to 1000 cm cube or we know that 1000 cm cube is equal to 1 liters so for and therefore one decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter sometimes cubic centimeter is also written as cc now i'll discuss the vessels for measuring the volume of the liquids there are two vessels which are you which are uh, used for the measurement of the volume of the liquids one is measuring cylinder another is measuring beaker one first is measuring cylinder how it is measured a cylinder it looks like a cylinder having a cross sectional area of 10 cm cube it is made up of glass or plastic its length is nearly 10 cm and it is graduated okay in cm cube or ml with zero mark at the bottom and 100 mark at the top therefore the capacity will be 100 cm cube or 100 ml in that cylinder measuring cylinder is capacity 
so it's generally used in the laboratories and what is its use its use is to measure the volume of the liquids measure how can be it measured it measures the irregular objects okay measure the volume of an irregular objects also it measures it measures the volume of the liquids or some volume of the some irregular objects by measuring the displacement of water or liquid by the object okay so it looks like this this is the cross sectional uh, this this will be the cross sectional area this one okay this is the cross sectional area okay so how much is it it is 10 cm square okay and the graduation will be zero will be at the bottom and 100 will be the at the top and this will be uh, graduated in this way the capacity is 100 cm cube so this will be the measuring cylinder now in uh, pharmacists some pharmacists use this type of measuring cylinder okay so now we come to measuring beaker it is used for uh, measuring a definite volume of a liquid such as milk oil lubricating oil etc so like uh, we go to the petrol pump or we get to uh, go to some kerosene shop ration shop where they measure uh, with some uh, um, beaker measuring beaker and they put the uh, uh, they pour the uh, these uh, liquid the kerosene or oil, oil into our uh, container so the measuring amount is known to them available in different capacities like 50 ml 100 ml 200 ml 500 ml 1000 ml the capacity is marked on it provided with a handle to hold it this will provide this is provided with a handle okay so uh, we come to uh, we uh, stop here we'll discuss uh, on this chapter more in my next video please go through this portion if you have any doubts please do write in the comment box if you like the video please press the like button and to get my notif get the notification of my next video please do subscribe so that you can get updated uh, videos of my uh next videos you can get the notification of my next video thank you